My name is Lisa, and if you got your yoga mat, just grab a chair. Um, there's a chair right over here in the um, in the hallway, and not the hallway, but in the door. And you're going to need a hula hoop. To walk. Yeah, she's coming in the back there. She's got her yoga mat.
10, 9, 8, inhale up, 7, 6, 5, inhale up, 4, are you feeling it in the glute? 3, 2, one, nice work. Hand back to chair, bring that back leg in. Let's change sides. All right, so we got this hand go into your chair corner. Send that leg forward. Send this leg all the way to the back. Inhale up, open that hip flexor. So it's now your hip extensor. Inhale up. Now the back knee is gonna go towards the floor. The front knee is going to bend to a 90 right over the heel. And we're gonna take it down and up. So pull your head back, ears over shoulders, tuck the chin slightly. All right, are we ready? Lift your hand or hover your hand. Here we go, ready? 10, nine, yeah, that was just bonus. Eight, make sure you're on a railroad track and not a balance beam. Six. You don't wanna be on a railroad track, you be rich. No, we just don't wanna be on a railroad track at all. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Nice work. Knees together, feet together. Hold your hoop on each side. Knees together, feet together. Squat low. Right. Hold up here so you're nice and wide. So this keeps you measured out so that you're the same. Inhaling up, squeezing those blades as you exhale down. All right, inhale up. One, two, Breathe in, exhale bigger out. Five, six, seven. We got a great crowd here today. Hey, thank y'all for coming, spending your Monday with me. Nine, hold and press right here. Press back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Nice work. Remember, we don't tip from the, the belly button. It's just a button, okay? So tuck your tailbone belly button in, and we're going to tip from the hips. Hold out here. Tip. Reach, reach, reach. Now, once you frame your face and send it back out. Nice. Frame, squeeze those blades, lift those elbows. Nice. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, hold and press, bring it in, squeeze to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's start over. Here we go. All right, so take this hand, place it to the corner, take that foot forward, send this leg to the back, up on the toe, inhale up, send the uh, the hips forward, open up the hip flexor. Make sure this knee goes right over that heel and not over the toe, okay? Inhale up. If you're feeling good, wanna hover, feeling real good, wanna balance, all right? We will get balance in in a minute, I promise. Let's take it down. Inhale up, exhale down. One, good job. Is everybody feeling good? Bye. Thank you. <laughs> I need that. Good recovery there. Nine. Stay low. Hold here. Here we go. We're going to tip forward. Bring it back. Tip forward. Straight arms. Bring it back. Straight arms. One. Two. Yeah, I know it's a balance thing. You wouldn't think. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Good catch, my friend. Me too. Ten. Nice work. Let's go to the other side of town. <laughs> yeah, Dwight just started driving his over. I saw that. All right. So right here, take this hand here. This leg, send it forward. This leg, send it back. Inhale up. So when you inhale up, it squeezes. It squeezes that glute. Okay, it just kind of shortens its range of motion there. We're going to send this back leg straight down just like we did. We're going to inhale up. If you're feeling really good, 
two hands, take it down and up. There's no shame in holding onto that chair. If you're creating uh, your balance, your muscle memory, hold on to that chair. You know, maybe spider fingers to the chair. It's okay because you're going to build that memory and then you'll have it. And so, nine, thank you. Ten, hold here. Take it all the way here. Straight arms, straight arms up. Straight. So we're squeezing that stability glute that's in front. Good job. Inhale up. Good. Where are we at, Dwight? The fog is <laughs> Set, okay, seven, got all kinds of numbers going on at me. Eight, nine, ten, nice work. Knees together, feet together, beat one, sink low. Do y'all like it better without the music? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. A couple of you talk, well, the whole sound just went. Inhale up, lift, squeeze the shoulders right back down. Inhale up. A couple of told me that you're retired school teachers, and so you cherish the silence. And I'm like, that makes sense. All right, here we go. Five, squeeze those blades. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hold up here. Now hold up, sink lower. Tuck your tailbone, belly button in and up to the heart. Does that, that Cool, it's getting heavy, isn't it? Here we go. Take it down, open through the heart, send it up. Take it down, squeeze those rhomboids, that diamond right between your shoulder blades. Four, five, that's beautiful. It's just in sync, just all the colors are going. It is pretty, yes. Nine, 10, nice work, how do we feel? Everybody's good? All right, grab to the other side of your chair. Hold up here. All right, so hand on the corner, standing on this leg, we're gonna inhale up, we're really gonna work on balance. So go ahead and flex that foot, soften your standing leg, okay? So hold up here, and we're gonna take it down the side and all the way up. You're gonna feel a stress right across that quad because you're holding the weight of your own leg up or you're just, it, is, it becomes your weight. Four, nice, five, six, seven, eight. How do we feel? This is your stability leg. And 10, now we're just gonna take that leg to the back. Inhale up, fingertips to the chair seat. All right, here we go, it's a little bit lower now. Flex your back foot, which means just draw your toes towards your knee. Let's lift both limbs and lower. One, this is a lot of balance. Two, three, make sure you're breathing. Four, inhale, exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Other side. Good job. All right, we're doing good. So we're going to take this hand, place it on the corner, standing on this leg, soften the knee just a smidge. Inhale up. Hold up here. Now pull, flex. So this is point. This is flex. We're going to flex it strong right back to us. Soften your standing just a little bit. We're going to take it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One. Inhale, two, good job, three, four, Mona's loving it, she's just a smile, I love it, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, you know where we're going, are we ready to go to the back, send that leg straight through, fingertips to your seat, or you can keep it high if you like, all right, straight arm in the front, Straight leg in the back, flex foot, inhale up, exhale down to parallel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Let's 
Let's go to the other side of town. If you get a chance and look right here, that right there, Connie, Connie painted that for me. It was so nice. I have a Connie original. I don't see Connie. I know she's here. There, there you are. Okay, Connie painted that. It's beautiful. Definitely come take a look. She is so talented. All right, are we ready? Inhale up. Flex that foot. Now, I would suggest hovering, maybe not extending unless you're just really feeling good about it. All right, but definitely just hover so that you're right there. And then we're going to take it down. So keep, use your captain toe in your stability leg. All right, one. Soften that standing leg. Three. Four. Lifting it to a squeeze and then release a little bit, lift to a squeeze. So take it across, inhale up, exhale down. One, this is just your active rest. So keep it nice and controlled. Control up, control down. All right, five more, five. Are we getting warm yet? Who would have thought, you know? You're welcome to open the side door if you like. One, hold out here, parallel. Now, let's get the wrist. Send it out, in. We need to make sure, check in with our wrist, make sure they're nice and strong. If you've got carpal tunnel issues, I know this might limit some of your range. Give it just a small shot and see where your range is. Two more. One more. Let's send it over, nice and straight. Straight elbow as much as possible. Extending from the shoulder. Hold up here. Now lift up. Do you feel, do you feel any weakness there? One, two, spot if you need. Three, four. We've got to keep those wrists strong. I always go back to the milk jug and the tea pitcher. You know, you shouldn't have to spot yourself with a milk jug and a tea pitcher, but you do sometimes. Ten, did you feel it burning in your medial delt? Yes, I see a leg are good. All right, hold up here. This is just for fun right here. So we're squared up to the front. We're inhaling up, exhaling down. One, inhale, exhale, three. Nice work, inhale up, four, five, six, seven, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, let's really address this right here. Let's lift up. And you know what? If you find out, hey, that's just not working for me, it's okay. This is, we're family, you know? So just pay attention and spot yourself, all right? It's okay. This is where we're going to get stronger and get better. Because we can't address it if we don't know it's not working right, right? Nine, ten. All right, here we go. Hold up here. Send it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you feel the burn? Eight, nine, ten. Right here. Just hold up here. I know we didn't get it. Send it down just right in the wrist. I want you to get the top part of the wrist as well with our mouses and whatnot. Um, it's very important. This is actually your tea area where you got that jug of tea. I always have to give it two extra fingers just, just to be careful, just to be cautious. One more. Nice work. Send it all the way down. Grab your dumbbell.
again. Nice work. Take it all the way down. Oops. Coming all the way close. Now, graze your chair so that your legs are just kind of grazing your chair. Take a deep breath in. Shoulders up, back, and down. Imagine you're just going to sit down, but don't. All right, here we go. Graze that chair. Right back up. Graze. Knees together, feet together. Here we go. One, inhale up. Exhale down. Two, keep your shoulders pulled back, tuck your chin. Three, four, lead with the booty on this one. It's okay. Six, you should feel your quads being stable. Seven, eight, nine, in. Nice work. Come to the side of your, of your chair. This side. There we go. All right. So we're going to take this hand closest to the chair back. We're going to take it down to the seat. You can double your dumbbells, go single with your dumbbells, or just use your heavy empty hand. Okay. So either way is fine. We're going to take our hand, first of all, right to the chair back. We're going to take the back leg forward, front leg to the back. Make sure you're in a railroad track, not a balance beam. And we're just going to tip forward, soften the front knee just a smidge. We're going to row and right back down. Inhale up, exhale down. Three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, exhale. Take our hand down to the seat. Walk up a little bit so you can go past your chair. Remember your flat back. Soften your front knee. Here we go. Row. Release gently. This is the positive. And this is your negative. So be real controlled in both areas. Inhale up. Pay attention to hip alignment. The foot that's in front, send that hip back with a half inch. The hip that's in back, send it forward. Happen. So you have nice hip alignment. Where are we at, Delight? Eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Let's go to the other side. Sometimes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Send that front leg to the back. This one closest to the chair back here. And we're just going to tip. All right, so make sure that all four corners of both feet are down. Soften in the front knee just a smidge. Send it over and row. One, two. So inhale up, exhale down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now let's put our back hand in our chair seat. Send our dumbbells a little past the seat and check in with hip alignment. All right, the foot that's in front, send that hip back a half inch, the front hip forward a half inch. Now you should have nice hip alignment. Shoulder blades are squeezed, shoulders are away from your ears. Here we go. In row, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Come all up, all the way up. Let's go back to the other side. So load your hand on the outside of your chair. From the inside, hold your chair back. From the outside, send the leg back. Inhale up. Take a deep breath in. Hand to chair back. Tip just to make a smidge and soften that front of that back knee. Here we go, make sure your shoulders are pulled together. Let's row and release. Inhale, exhale, three, four. Now pay attention to your stabilizer. Is the leg closest to your chair back? Do you feel that in your glute, hamstring, and quad? You feel stress all the way down the back of the leg from the calf down to the heel, uh, the Achilles there in between. Where are we at with numbers? 14. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Back hand down on the chair seat. Walk it forward just a smidge. Here we go. 
hip alignment, back hip, for, uh, back hip goes back a little, fore hip goes forward a little, let's row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's get that second set. How are we doing? It's so quiet in here, isn't it? Does anybody need music at this point? Is everybody good? Okay. All right, here we go. Hand right here. Send that uh, back leg real close to the chair. Tip from the hip. Now this is your belly button. If you tipped here, that's what it would look like. So you don't want to do that. You want to tip from the hip, flat back on the diagonal, reach and row. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's take our hand down low to the chair seat. Here we go. Ready? Take that back hip. Push it back. Forward hip. Forward just a smidge. All right. Here we go. One. Two, inhale, exhale, six, inhale, pull that belly button in, yeah. and ten, nice work, nice work, good job, how do we feel, good, yeah. did I miss one, where's she going, okay, here we go, let's take this hand, Send it down. We're going to get our tricep kickbacks, okay? So take this foot forward, this front foot, send it to the back. Take this hand all the way down, send it to your chair seat, reach forward, soften the knee. We're going to pull it up. Now get strong, bring your strength, bring your muscle strength right here into the tricep. We're going to send it to the back. Bring it in. That's as far as we're going. Send it to the back, bring it in. One, if you need to drop down to one dumbbell, that's okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze to the back, eight, nine, doesn't that feel great? Ten, nice, did you feel it in the triceps? Yes. All right, send this back foot forward. Send this hand that's in the back, closest to the back of your chair. <laughs> I was like, all right, sometimes I get confused too. Hold up here. Now we're gonna line up the hips, send it to the back, send it to the back, and bring it in towards the side body, and take it to the back and squeeze. Ready? One, two, Three, squeeze those shoulder blades. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Nice work. So if you go out of town and you're thinking, I need a workout and I need something I'm familiar with, go look on YouTube on the site that I sent you and open it up, and I was just showing somebody a while ago, just tap on it, you'll see me on there, just tap on it, when it does, hit subscribe, and, and the little thumb up, and that way every time we put something new on there, you'll always get it, and you'll have your exercise um, while you're out of town. Isn't that neat? I'll, be, I'll go with you, let's go somewhere good. All right, let's send it to the back. All right, here we go, one. Wouldn't be a vacation then. Two, really wouldn't, would Three. Four, five, and hopefully we can get enough on there because if you don't carry your hula hoops, you can still still maybe have your bands. Eight. Ten. Ten. Good job. <laughs> All right, last time, triceps. Are you feeling the tightness? These are your triceps right here. All right, take it down. Inhale up. Right here by your side body, and you want to square the shoulders. So send that pinky to the back, bring the thumb into the side. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, that's in perfect form, seven, eight, nine, ten, nice work, let's have a seat. Place your dumbbells down. Take your feet super wide. All right? All right. So we're going to get some inner thigh work. We're going to take our hoops all the way out. Extend. Heels are down. You see your toes. So we're not directly under our knee, but we're out a bit for a good stability. All right? We're going to send it forward. So your booty might want to lift off your chair a bit, but try to keep it pressed down. Hold up here, lift up, squeeze, crown yourself, up, right back down. Now, where's your belly button? Is it in? Good. Yes, hold that belly button in. Nice straight spine. Open up with your hands. Hopefully your hula hoop is nice and light. Do you feel the inner thigh burn just a little? Nine. Ten. Now keep your crown right here. We're going to tip. Now hold. Do you feel the expansion of your lumbar spine? Doesn't that feel nice? Yes. Send your crown out. Bring it back in. You might get the shakes, and that's okay. It just lets me know that you're using all your muscle fibers. I can feel my shakes hand going up towards my um, hamstrings, trying to keep everything steady. You're getting cramp. <laughs> shakes, cramps, yep, all that good stuff. She's still going with one hand. That's good. Nine, ten. Crown yourself. Come all the way up. Take it all the way over. One. Now pay attention to your low spine. Do you feel a release right about there? Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come all the way up. Take your wheel out. Now we're driving. Send it up and all the way around. Nice work. Rotation through the shoulder. We always we're always reaching. Back seat, front seat, trying to reach high. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold up here, draw your heels in just a smidge. Now send it to the side. Hold up here, send it to the bottom. Let's go for ten. Ten, nine. Do you feel it behind the belly button? Eight. Seven, little spinal twist. Five, inhale. Three, two, one. Nice work. Bring your steering wheel back to the front. Send it over to the other side. Take your bottom hand down and let's drive it. Here we go. One, so you're measured perfectly apart every single rotation. So that socket is getting the fluid that it needs to be flexible and mobile. I have no idea. I'm thinking A. Okay. Really? Uh, for real A. Okay. He stands behind his A. Oh, and we kept going, didn't we? <laughs> Hold up here. Take a deep breath in. Rotate and look to the back. Hold up here. Do you feel a nice rotation in the lat? on the diagonal of your obliques. Do you feel that? Now send it down, bring it up right here. So you might feel a little limited in your range of motion. That's okay. Three, inhale up, four, five, six. What about those arms? Are they getting warm? Eight, nine, and last time over here, really, really just drive it to the back. Inhale up, exhale down. Open up anything that might be tight in that shoulder. Three, four, five. Helps you 
need to be aware. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's let our upper body rest. Do you want to? <laughs> yes. All right. All right. <laughs> Now, those of us that just really got a big hula hoop, I'm not sure how this, I tell you what, we'll make it work. Come in here, come to the edge of your seat. We're just going to let it rest. We're going to come all the way back. No matter how it lands, let's hold on here and let's lift. All right. So, lifting would be part one. Okay. After we get these ten, we're going to move on from here. We're going to lift our hoop, lower our hoop. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Lift and, yeah. And down. Two. Three. <laughs> four. You're just little. This one's huge. Me and you both can do this one. Six. Seven. Eight. Do you feel it? Your four. Nine. Ten. Nice work. How do we feel? Hold up here. Send it out. All right, right here, we're just going to gently, gently, don't crush it, just gently, we're going to push down, I want you to feel it in your core, one, inhale, exhale down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, give it a half turn, Bring it to your lap, right here. Here we go. Press down. Do you feel it behind the belly button? Three, four, five, six. Do you feel it behind your belly button? Inhale up. Eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go back. Let's jump that hoop. Ready? Come all the way back. Can you bring your knees in? All right, here we go. Up and down. So the hard part is lifting the weight of the legs up. And I would say, just go ahead and go for it, but everybody's going in the same direction. That's perfect. <laughs> All right, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven. Do you feel the weight of your own legs? Six. Five, this is your last one. Four, well not the whole last one. We're on three, <laughs> two, one. Nice work, nice work, hold out here. So take your hoop out to the side. Take this leg on the same side as the hoop, send it over. All right, sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, take this hand, send it over. And then use the leverage from this bound hand to inhale up, lifting your heart, right? Use this to lift your hoop. Flex your foot, all right? All right, now we're gonna tip forward. We're gonna C-shape. Make sure that you got a good base so that we don't flip forward, okay? So we're gonna C-shape over, hold. Do you feel the opening in your obliques, your side body? Do you feel the opening where we would call your maybe muffin top? your flank area, we call it all sorts of things. Inhale up, exhale over. One, two, keep that foot flat in the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, Feel it in your waistline. Eight, nine, ten. Nice work. How do we feel? Take this hand, your spare hand. Now send it on the knee. Send it to the shin. Tip from the hip. Flex your toe. Pinky toe. Inhale up. Send it into your chest. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Send it up. I love it. I love it. Hamstring stretch, bring your back off your seat and sit up nice and tall. Oh, where is it? You know I just got to get a picture. Well, I'm going to have a picture. <laughs> I'm going to have a picture. Hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, perfect. Well, I won't have a picture of y'all. So that's the, that's the whole point. All right, so I'm going to get it on the next side. So cross this leg over. Oh, now, let's see. It's just, it's such a pretty, pretty thing. Now flex your foot. I forgot where I was at. Flex your foot. Take this hand over. All right. Use it for leverage. Inhale up. All right. Send it up. Send it back. And then we're going to C shape over, C shape back. Keep going. Nice work. Two, three. Ah, oh, love y'all. Four, <laughs> five, six. Seven, love it. Eight, nine, ten. Come around front. All right, so we're going to run our hand to a place your hand on your knee, place your hand on your shin, place your flex your foot. Now put it on the pinky side of your of your foot. All right, now pull that leg in, and we're gonna send it out. You ready? Here we go, send it out. Lift your hoops. Yes, yes. Oh, hold, I'm almost around the room. There we go. Hang on, Rosebud. 10, good job. I love it, you guys. That's so cool, that's so cool. You can get rid of that. All right, grab your dumbbells are awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. So bring your dumbbells right here, and we're going to do some Arnold presses. So curl them in here, your number 11s, and they're grazing right here. Now make sure your back is flush with your chair, belly button in, knees together, feet together, heels together, uh, caps and toes are together. Pull your ears over your shoulders. Inhale up, rotate to the top. Exhale down. Ready? One, two, and this is a, a one that you could use heavier dumbbells with. Three, because you're stable, you got the support of the chair and whatnot. Um, so when you come to you know, sign in in the mornings, just grab you an extra set of dumbbells if you like. Eight, okay. Nine, 10, hold here, bring them in here. Turn them in, tuck the chin, ears over shoulders. Make sure you're pressing your uh, lordy curve into your chair, okay? Send it out, firm rest, bring it in. Send it out and bring it in. Yes, go with uh, empty hands if you need. Listen to your body above all else. Unless it's just saying, uh, stay in bed. Then that way, you know we need to move. So. You don't have to move everything. You don't have to do everything we do. Just come be with us. That's all we want. Thank you. Ten. Good job. All the way down. Nice work. Hold up here. Now we're just going to send it all the way over. Place your dumbbells on your shoulders. Now imagine you're doing a crunch on the floor. Come forward to the knees and then come back looking up at the chair. Come back to the chair looking up. Now bring it over. Come back to the chair looking up. There we go. Three. Now, if you want more, four, we'll go ahead and finish our 10. Five, six. Do you see where this would be a basic crunch on the floor? Seven, eight. You can stay here, nine, or you can come forward in your seat a bit. Okay. So we're going to protect our spine, C-shape your spine just a little bit. This is negative, so you're straight up, you're nice and vertical. This is a positive move, this is a, neg a negative move, plant those feet. Okay, I'm in my negative position, I'm away from my chair back. I feel it pull from here all the way up. Do you feel that? Now we're going to come into our positive. We're going to take it back into our negative. Ready? Plant your feet. One, two, 
This might be if you were in the floor, you'd ask a, a buddy, hey, hold my feet. Three, four, five. I do find my feet wants to come up. Six, does yours? Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, Ten. Nice work. Let's go back to our, our chair back. Rest comfortably there. Come in here with your ornal presses. Tuck your chin, ears over shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale down. Can we get 20 on this one? Yes. Three. Okay, good. Four. We got to get heavier weights, don't we? Two count by two. Two count by two. Seven. Eight. Nine. All right, here we go, 10 more. One, 11, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, do you need to rest a second? We're gonna extend out. All right, here we go, we're making our goal post right here. Normally they would look like this, but we're gonna turn them in here. We're gonna send them out, get the long head of the bicep. Tuck the chin, ears over shoulders. Inhale up, exhale out. Be careful with the elbow. Be mindful of the elbow. You don't want to hyperextend. That's something that sticks with you for a moment. So we don't want to hyperextend. Keep the elbows soft. Don't straighten them out completely. All right, we ready? Six, eight, <laughs> we're gonna take this into 20. Here we go, 10 more. One, two, last set of these. Three, four, five, we're almost there. Tuck the chin, tuck the chin, ears over shoulders, I know, I feel you. Eight, nine, 10. All right, let's hang a minute, let's just, tip forward now let your let your dumbbells hover don't let them hit the ground just let them hover tuck your chin in strong towards your neck looking directly at your knees now the weights in your hand provide extra expansion through your uh, lats uh, up towards the spine around the obliques take a deep breath in tuck your chin a little deeper get a c-shaped spine now as your chin comes into your chest, lift your heart off your thighs. So now you're, you're in a forward fold, and you should feel strength right behind the belly button. Do you feel that? Deep breath in, nice long exhale. Come up just an inch more, tuck that chin strong. Do you find length in your cervical spine? Take your... Uh, left eye look towards the left do you feel uh, expansion in your right part of your neck take your eye gaze back to your knees take your right eye over your shoulder feel expansion in your cervical spine right around the neck take a deep breath in looking back to the knees now gently just pull all the way up how do we feel pretty good all right let's get our let's get our sit ups one more time let's take our feet out of the equation a little bit so here they were our stability okay so we're going to take them forward just a smidge come forward you're at the edge of your chair seat and then come back but c-shape tuck your tailbone squeeze your glutes and then we'll bring it forward and let's pause there for just a minute so pause one two three and then come forward and this is three and pause one, two, three. This one is our fourth. One, two, three. Inhale up. Exhale over. I think this is five and hold for three. And over. Six. And pause. Seven. And pause, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. All right.
middle of your seat, all right? Middle of the road. Let's take this leg, cross it over. Flex it strong. Um, I tell you what, unflex it just so you'll know what it feels like. So it's just hanging out in neutral. Take your hand right here, right up under the knee. Now flex that leg strong. Do you feel your body mechanics kick in? Isn't that neat how God made us? Hey, so just, that's just the thought of everything. You know, so it's protecting our knee if we don't push it out beyond its limits. It just protects right here. All right, so hold up here. Send your hands over, your elbows over. We're going to get little short curls right here. So curl up, but you're also going to feel a rotation in your hip socket. Sounds like more than it is, doesn't it? But it's good to have that rotation to get that fluid there so that it moves with ease. Your elbows don't go over. That's okay. That's okay. As long as you're tipped forward, and the most important thing is you feel it in your hip socket. Okay, great. All right. Four more. Three. Two. Now, look at your dumbbells. Look at your uh, side of your toe. Can we turn them vertical and strive to reach our mat? Whoa at the stretch. Do you feel it? Yes. You should feel abundant stretch right there in that hip. All right, hold here. Take a deep breath in. Now, turn your foot off. Just put it back in neutral. Just turn it off so that everything, because we're not moving it, everything is nice and, and just smooth, except for that, that tight hip. All right, let's flex that foot. Bring it right back up. Let's go to the other side. Flex it. Protect it. Knee over heel. Let's attempt to go for the short head of the bicep. So here we go. And if you don't make it all the way over, it's okay. You, wherever you are, we're just going to take it halfway down so the, the biceps are getting, they have a long head and a short head to them. And so the short head is the little pie pie part. And that's kind of where we're going right now. Ready? Where are we at, Dwight? I See, I like that. I like it. That's all right. Do you feel stretching in your low spine as well? In your lumbar spine? All the multi, oh, the counting on that. Send it over nice and vertical. Okay, I'll remember that. Send it over. Now, how close can we get to the floor with our vertical dumbbells? Ooh, doesn't that feel nice? Now, just turn off your flexed foot. Breathe in deep. That feels so good, doesn't it? Take a deep, yes, no, that feels so nice. Take a deep breath in, nice long exhale, and then bring it all the way up. Nice work. Double up on your dumbbells, and this will be our last one, and then um, we'll, we'll go from there, okay? All right, hold on here with your chair. So I'm at the edge of my chair, and I'm just gonna lean over. Okay, so I'm trying to open up the oblique on this side. Um, so I'm reaching down and pulling up just slightly. Now, if you've got any spinal issues, check in with that spine. If anything is ever shooting sharp pain, stop immediately, okay? And we'll be done here and you can jump right back in on the next one. Okay, seven, okay, thank you. Eight. And you can put your hand right here if you like and feel what's going on. And 10, nice work. Other side. You can hold on or feel what's happening. Now, I've got spine issues. I've got a, a thoracic 11 and 12, so I have to be careful. So when you talk to me about your spine, I'm like, I'm all ears because I, I did paying attention. So we have to find the area that we can work in because there might be some areas that are off limits to us. First. <laughs> okay, we can't use the whole body card, you know. <laughs> so, oh, okay, other side. Here we go. All right, right here, take it over. So, sometimes we have to go with where our body is at the moment. And then we have to do our part to keep it mobile, keep it moving, so that we stay as healthy as we can for our, um, what number? Oh, nine. Thank you. Ten. You got back up in the back. Now, we have to stay healthy for our tomorrows. We got to stay independent. 
We got to stay reaching. Ballroom dancing. Ballroom dancing. Yes, we got ballroom dancers in here. Working in the garden. Yes, chasing grandkids. Love it. Playing softball. Oh, what about golf, y'all? Thank you. <laughs> what about golf? Yeah, we got to stay healthy for playing. I don't play golf, but any, all y'all that do play golf, got to stay healthy for that. All right, take your dumbbells all the way down. And if you come to my Wednesday classes upstairs, you know I love the sumo squat. No, we're not going to do the sumo squat, but we're going to get close. So, heeled in. Here we go. Now we're going to come off our chair. We're going to stay low. That is awesome. That If you feel for one minute this is not for you, you can stay in your chair and then come to here. So take hands down to here, like if you were going to say a prayer. Send your elbows on the inside of the thigh and then lift your heart and smile big. This is your modified sumo squat. And I love this. It works so much of your body. All right? Nice work, Connie. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. Thank you. Thank you all so much for coming. Please be sure and sign the book and leave me your number and I'll put you on our list to keep you updated.